When I started Paga, there really was no tech ecosystem at all. There was no ecosystem, at least to my knowledge. You know, it's like TikTok, right? I mean, that's just literally the, the, the world we live in. Nobody actually cares about memories. I think the visit of Mark Zuckerberg just opened people's eyes to how the world saw them. I don't think we've slowed down from that. Tech in my life has been life-changing. If there was no tech, I will still be in the bank. I'll probably be a housewife to a billionaire just sitting at home and eating his money. <laughs> this story explores how it all started. Many folks seem to believe that tech ecosystem really started with the startups that we see today. It feels like a lot of people have just shown up and have completely forgotten how to sort of pay homage to the bedrock. The storytelling's been uh, critical. People need to understand what's going on. People need to be excited. People need to be angry. The skyscraper doesn't exist without the marvel that happens on the ground. So you, you marvel at everything above ground, but you have no idea that without the stuff on the ground, the above ground doesn't make sense. Everybody wants to talk about the sexy stuff and the shiny apps. Like there's so many folks that, you know, bled, sweated, cried to pull all the stuff together. Right? But I think they don't get enough credit for some of the things they've done. I think Paystack is a story that needs to be told because without them, there's no fintech industry. None. Zero. Nothing at all. Funke Opeke and what she did with May One. Add to that what Mitchell did, stitching the banks together. You start to understand why we could get the takeoff. It makes me incredibly proud because it's validating of the work that so many players have put in. Because this, these things need to be put down for posterity. Unless something changes by 2025, 2026, we'll essentially really be back where we were and when we started.